Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. Today, we're going to tackle this back piece in the corner. The quarter panel has been butt welded on. We got it tacked on and in place. It was a trying one. It really was. I tried to do this one much faster than I've done that one, but it did not pan out that well. But it's going well now. But we've got this left to do. We've got this piece down here we want to get. We want to get that out of there. We want to butt weld this down around here and... and bring this together and uh, I'm going to let you do it with me. I've got it tacked on right here. You can see we've, we're butt welded on all the way along here. We'll come back. Now we're going to get this piece here and we're going to cut this out. Um, let's go for it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this shape down a little bit. We're a little bit high here. I want to thank everybody for coming back. I appreciate it. Uh, the reason I seem like I'm going fast and 100 miles an hour is because of, it's time. All right, so let's buff that back a little bit. I'm just going to take a flapper wheel for that. Uh, I had a little mat here. But. a little bit further. Now, if you want to come in here and take a look, I've got I've got this piece I want to get off. You can see this piece right here. I've got all the piece going along the whole quarter panel. I got that cut off. Now I got to get this cut off. And I want to take this piece out all the way down to there. So now we're going to cut it out. We're now we're going to do it. Get the zip cut going. Nope, I'm just going to use it. I got it tacked on here in the corner. It's nice to have it tacked on so it does not take off. Got tacked here on the corner. Now I'm just going to run a, I'm going to run the zip cut along with the quarter panel that we got made there. I want to run it along with the quarter panel. That way there it's going to fit. I'm running that along with that. Mm -hmm. Run down a little further. What's going on there is I got a little bit of an angle. And probably what I shouldn't do. Probably should. Get our push stick and start pushing that in and tacking it. We want to go easy when we're tacking that on. And the reason being is, if I do not go easy tacking it on, I'm going to end up welding the new piece back to the old piece. I do not want to do that. I want to weld the new piece to the, to the, to the, to the, to the taillight section. But I do not want to weld the inside piece back to this piece. You can see the inside piece right there. That's the inside piece. Don't want to weld that. I want to weld this piece to this piece. And I do not want to hit that inside piece. Reason being, it'll be hard to get it off. Now, my... Uh, push Let's just push that in. Easy. All it does have to hold it.
I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut this back just a little tiny bit so I can get around there. I have something to I noticed that took off a little bit there. And I'm just gonna push it back in. And attack it. Jolene's got some new mics. Let her know. If they're any good or not, be nice about it, but let her know. Little tiny square things there. Gonna get a hammer and knock that in a little bit because it came out a little bit on me. I don't know if you've seen it, but I did. Too much. Don't want to get that inside piece welded. Just want the outside for now until I get it cut off. I changed my zip cut. I think that took it. Where did I put those? Right there. Let's make it fit when it doesn't look like it's supposed to. All right, let's make it fit. Can I help you, old buddy? Just board guy grinder for a second. That in, flush that out a little bit. I don't like pushing it in to be honest with you. There we go. Sure. Fitting good right here, so I'll nail it on here, and then that'll hold it so I can beat it in a little bit. Now, let's take out the self tapper. Actually, let's cut. Let's cut that off. You bear with us, and I will take you and show you what Nathan is doing to the Thunderbird. I'll take a walk over, and I'll show you. I need to see the drill, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. Jolene's the best. Stop it. Stop it. I think I cut my little piece of trunk there, I did. That's okay. I want to 
if I cut in there far enough. <clears throat> then I got my piece out. Right? Cool. Now we'll start doing some some big boy stuff. Let's make this work. Takes a lot of finessing. Yes, it does, but once you connect things, and then you can start hammering things. Until it's connected, it's really hard to pound or make anything go where you want it to go. Once it's connected, um, you, you really can, now I can knock that in, I bet you. See how easy that was? I'm gonna slice it here a little bit. I got a, I got a round thing going on here. And if I want to get that over there, it'd probably be best if I slid it just a little, just a little bit. I took that out, didn't I? Get that over like that. Yeah. I'm going to take... I kind of have to leave the welder going, sort of, because I'll be jumping back up a million times. If I don't, I want to cut it, tack it. Good. Oh, wheat shreddies. Let's um, let's do this. Let's get this pushed over. See if it will. It's only metal. I'm just going to tack that right. Tack that together. Just hold a little bit. Saul's always holding it for me. When I tack that and I have no helmet on, I am closing my eyes. But zip cut that so it fits nice together. That's not it. That's not it. Zip it again. Want to shrink it some more? Just tack it because it looks good. Just tacking things right now, just until I make things look good. Gonna. That again. A little piece of metal out of there. Stop it. Need a screwdriver, maybe? Let's just put a dab of weld on this. It's a little bit high there, hit it down some. Put it together. Let's get an air hose and uh, get the welder going. We got some coat hanger. Helmet. I 
I like the idea of the coat hanger, and the reason being is because I can fill that gap. Uh, there's nothing uh, too hard about what's going on there other than using a coat hanger and bringing it together. Just want to look at the other side a little bit. And it's quite something. When you do one side, <laughs> when you come to the other side, it's a, it's a brand new thing all over again. <laughs> it's really weird. Because you think that you would, um, you would exactly remember how you do it, but that's not always true. Um, I find when I chop a car, <laughs> it's never generally the same. It's weird. And you th you've just done it, so why would it not be the same? So let's, let's make this, try and this, make this look nice. So first what we'll do is we'll get the easy stuff. We'll do this stuff. Make sure it's coming together. Got the air hose and nothing warps up on me. Lots of meat there. Lots of meat there. Probably too much, but... You always grind it off. Add a little bit right here. Just add meat, that's all. If I add meat, I'm talking about adding weld. So if I grind it off, I can make it look nice. Get this together down here. Is this looking right? Um, I'd like to have a little dolly, round that off a little bit. So I'm going to get a dolly and just stick it in behind it. I just wanted a little rounder, that's all. I guess this one will do. I'm just seeing if I can get it up in there. Nope. screwdriver. Just like I said, just playing with it right there now, trying to make it look, trying to get it fit, fit the best I can. See what happens. Tack this together. Bring this together. Just 
just hitting the coat hanger. Do not worry if you're using a coat hanger and you're getting too much, too much. Well, too much just gives you enough to grind off. This side. I should not have rounded that off. Should have been square over there, I think. We'll fix it. Because that's what we do. from that for a second. Now I can I can zap these on. And uh, nothing in behind there now. This again. Probably.
double trigger and it's probably my best bet. And the reason being is I drop a little bit of meat in uh, the line or the, the zip cut mat, drop some meat in there first and then hit it with the welder because we are butt welding it together and that it's easy to burn through. Now I should be able to touch that and have no heat. No heat. Awesome. No heat. Get an airline bag over here. Drop some more, more good stuff in this here area. It's kind of a messed up little hole I got going on for the Now that I've got that tacked on there, now I'm going to put the welder right on the edge of the weld. So I'll get halfway every time. That way there, I don't have to start a new spot. It's already been started. I don't have to double trigger it. All I have to do is find a spot weld, get right up beside it, get right on halfway, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. down here. Let's do this again. Check the heat. No heat, we're all good.
put some mold on this. Get this finished up up top here. We don't need the coat hanger for that. Move along a little ways here. I put a few more welds going this way than I do this way, and the reason being is the heat's going up. Generally, it will climb up that line. If I'm on the side of the panel, like you really have to be careful. Where I'm on this edge and it's running straight up, I, I will weld a few more as you counted. I am not burning through. I am I'm on high heat. I'm welding 18 gauge. And the reason I'm not burning through is because I'm starting halfway. And I'm starting right on the edge of every spot weld. That's why I'm not burning through. I'm not saying I won't burn through. Dead meat is all I'm doing. Something to grind. this hole in. I'm going around the hole because it's kind of a dent. I want more meat in there so I can grind it off.
don't need that yet. One for you here in a second. Go for it. Trick the butt weld, just stay right on top of that weld. And stay there. As you can tell, I'm not messing around with the air either. I'm pulling it out and putting it on there quickly uh, to dissipate the heat. I'm not messing around. I'm not uh, dilly-dallying with the air hose. I'm making sure that I get it on there and I do it. I get it. I'm going to put a little meat around this spur here. Weld on it, so when it comes time to grind it off, I got something. And if I do not have enough, I'll add more. That makes sense, doesn't it? Makes sense to me. Everything should be cool. Everything is cool, or else I wouldn't be touching it. Alrighty, let's grind some off and then see where we're at. Ooh, cramp my knee up. Let's see where we're at. I like a 36 grit. Um, sometimes I use the, the hard disk. Uh, it all depends on what I'm going for, but where we're doing this right now, I'm just going to try the hard disk here. I'm going to come from this side. Yeah. So I should do it from this side here. Here come this side, and that way there. I'm not scratching my quarter panel all up. Yeah. 
I'm going to have to get a different grinder or move. <laughs> move probably easier. grinder to grind that in there. I'm going to use this one just because it's here. Why wouldn't I? I'm using a zip cut to grind, to grind that. Generally, that's not what you should do. No, it is not. If you're laying it down like that, you, you could get in trouble. Where I'm laying it on face two like that, I'm just taking the edge off. I feel like I've, I've done it more times than I can count, no doubt in my mind. But I, have, I do a lot of grinding with a zip cut like that. I find it cuts the weld better. I find the bigger hard disk kind of bounce and, and take chunks of the metal. I don't like that. And I'm able to be more accurate with this so generally I that's what I do
Let me see that. Also, as I'm grinding that, I'm trying not to hit the other metal. Whenever you're doing something like this, you never want to hit the other metal. I know I'm scuffing it there, but I, do, I generally don't want to take it into anything else. I want to just grind what, I'm, what I've welded. That's basically what I want to do. Try to flap a wheel for a second. I don't want to grind that off anymore. I really want to put some more weld down. It got a little low spot going on here. I want to weld that, put a little weld in there and grind that off. Make sure there's no heat. It feels really good. Now I need a piece from here up to here. That's what I did on this side. You can see I bought take a piece and welded it on here, and brought it up through and then welded on the back side here. That's more grinding there than I've got going over here. Hmm. What do you think? Should we have a good time for that? We're at 53. Alrighty, so that's what's going on there. We got the, the quarter panel welded in the back. And we're going to play with it a little bit more. We're going to grind it a little bit more. I need to put that piece in there. Let's take a walk over for a second. Remember to... to uh, Put a comment on, on if you like the sound better. She got new mics and just trying them out. We're checking on you, Nate. We're checking on you. Okay, buddy. 
So we've got the Thunderbird over here, and uh, Nathan is is going for it. Um, right now, if Jolene wants to get up and take a look, we've got the, the master cylinder for the brakes going in and the slave cylinder for the clutch going in. And this all has to be fabricated. The master cylinder rod's already done for the brakes. It's already done. So now he's fabricating this, the yeah. rod for... The slave the cylinder, slave cylinder. And, that's, yeah. and that's for the clutch. Also, if you want to, let's go over the other side for a second. We also have a, I don't know, 89 to a 90s Ford truck transmission. Yes, like an 89 to a 95 speed. Okay, so this, is, so this is what Nathan has come up with so far. <laughs> it's just, just mocking up a, um, a shifter. The, sh the, the, the transmission is way, or the, where it shifts is way up inside. Uh, not normally it's back here somewhere on most vehicles, but we're way up inside there. Where that hole is, is where all the controls for the heat and, and all that sort of stuff. But uh, we got a shifter coming out of there, and we're going to make the shifter look like the pedals. And if you do not remember what the pedals look like, the pedals, uh, we fabricate it. And um, come over this side. Just in mock-up stage. Basically, well, basically doing what we have to do to make it work. And um, right now, Nathan's on that, helping me out whenever he can. And uh, I appreciate it. But you can see how the pedals got the extra piece put on. We did a video on making those pedals. And now um, it's coming to the point where they're going to be made to work. And uh, what we have there with the shifter is, is kind of a mock-up. You have to know where you're going before you get there or you should know where you're going before you get there. Um, that, um, what do you call that? Uh, jack handle for an old bumper jack. An old jack handle for bumper jack um, is, is just mocking it up. But it does throw good there and everything right now. It's got a good shift throw. So it shifts good, it roll, throws good, it's not hitting anything. We've got all new brakes in the front. Nathan's kind of ripped them, up, or has ripped them apart. He's saying there's new drums, new... Uh, yeah. New shoes, new springs, uh, new, wheel new wheel cylinders. He's greased the, the wheel bearings. So he's just going over it and going for it. Thank you, Nathan. Appreciate it. Going through the puzzle. And basically, that's what it is, a great big puzzle. Uh, throw a like in, throw a share in, get someone to comment or get someone to subscribe. Uh, have a great day. We'll be here when you come back tomorrow. And I want to thank everybody for coming back. And Jolene, you look some good. Woo! Thank you.